Mohan from Modern Salon TV. I am here with my buddy, Amit Abraham, one of my favorite people on the planet. We are backstage at a L'Oreal Professional photo shoot, and I grabbed Amit off set and asked him to show us something special, and you said you're going to do... I'm going to show you uh, how to play with a ponytail. And, you know, people, people beat us up all, all the time, you know, saying, why are you doing another ponytail? But it is one of, well, one of the most important looks, especially for Fashion Week and for every client, correct? Everything from Fashion Week to that hot, hot summer day that you just need to pull your hair up and, you know, you're going out, you don't have time, and you need a surefire way to get your hair up pretty beautiful quickly without messing, without messing around, and you can just run and go. So, so you're going to give us the professional tips, how the professional should tell the client to do it or how the professional should do it in the salon, right? Both how the professional should do it in the salon and how the professional can teach their client to do this really quickly every single time. Okay, so I told the meet uh, it's only three minutes and I've already eaten up a minute of it, so <laughs> maybe I'll give you four minutes. So go ahead, tell us what to do. So let's get started. So what we're going to do is, first thing we're going to do is split the head in two. So I'm going to go ear to ear on both sides. So if you give me one second, it'll be ear to ear on both sides. So you can see how great that kind of just splits up. I'm going to ask Michelle to lift her head all the way up. Now, this is a really great tip for all of you hairdressers out there that always get this nape um, just to really bubble. We're going to get it so that it got, goes really sleek. And the way we're going to achieve that is instead of having her put her head forward, I'm going to ask her to look up at the stars. There you go. And I'm going to actually just grab a comb or a brush, rather. And I'm going to brush everything to the area that I want it to go, right? So everything's coming straight up. And this helps a lot if you, you know, pre-dry it and blow it out and get everything, you know, kind of smooth. Now, another really great tip when you're doing a ponytail or anytime you're doing any kind of up hair, you always want to brush to the open side of your hand so you can get it nice and clean. Otherwise, you kind of run into a few problems and then, you know, it'll buckle on you. So there we go. Really quickly, Michelle, look up. Her. So it really involves client involvement. She, she has to move her head to get the perfect shape. Right. Well, what's going to happen is once I tie this off, now it's going to actually be tighter as she puts her head up. It's going to pull all that hair from the nape. So now that's going to be really great. Now, if she's doing it at home, she can do it with her head back, right, and do a ponytail like that so that her head's tilted back and still achieve the same look and the same finish on the bottom. Can I have one of those elastics, please? Now, what I'm using here is an elastic uh rope. That elastic is, you know, you could get it at any um, trimmings place or, or beauty supply store. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it in the center there. I'm going to use my thumb. And I'm going to twist it around a couple times, getting it nice and taut so that it holds my shape. And now here's a baker's knot. Ready for this? It's going to go in once. It's going to go in twice. I'm going to pull it all the way down as tight as possible and then ready for it. I'm going to switch hands and go back on it. And now that's not going to go anywhere. That's going to click. Now, Michelle, just sit up for me. You can see how nice and clean that is right there. And now all I'm going to do is now, depending on what style I want, if I want something that's going to go super sleek and come back and just be a nice ponytail. Now I could just take all this hair, easy breezy, kind of take that up and tie it into tie it into that hair as well. It's nice that you picked this model. <laughs> with gorgeous hair. She's got amazing great hair, doesn't she? I'm just gonna give that to you, Michelle. Thank you. I'm gonna grab my brush. And now if I wanted something sleek, do you see how easy and simple that is? Just to bring it up and pull it all in there and now I can go ahead and tie that off. The other thing, the other option that I have is if I want now, I can take all this hair and just go in and come with me for a sec. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my brush to back comb this a little bit. Oops. Just really get some air in there, get some height in there, right? Really simply. keeping these tight. So I'm not going to do that to the sides. Brushing this back. Yeah. 
And now, I can really achieve some height on top. Right, oh, what is going on over there? I can really achieve height here, in this area if I wanted to. And now, tie this off like so. And again, with the elastic, just going around, tying it off, getting it super tight. Again, we're gonna do the baker's knot, which is once, twice, all the way down, really, really in there. And now I'm just gonna switch my hands, and that's what's gonna happen. That's great. Let's try that one more time, really quickly. Ready, one, two, three. So maybe you wanna go by your cord in a better place. <laughs> so once, we're gonna go in there again, twice, get that down, twist it, locked in place. Now if we wanted to put it up, that's all we would have to do. That is so great because you know what I do? I just put my hair in a ponytail and then go in and pull this out and it's always a disaster. I didn't know that I should be doing that. I'm obviously not a hairdresser. Well, now, <laughs> Or maybe I go is, track you down. Now what she can do is just make it a little lived in. Let's take a look at you, Michelle. She loves herself with her hair off her face, can't you tell? <laughs> So it's a two-part system. It, there's many steps to it. It's not just throw your hair up and kind of mush it around. It it's really right. takes work. But now, if you look at it, I mean, it's a surefire, simple way if you have your hair curled like Michelle did. Now this isn't up to you. Just take three, four pins, secure this in place, and you're done. You know what I mean? So it, it's a base and a foundation for many different styles, many different looks. But it gives you the ponytail that you've always wanted without having to worry that it's going to come down or it's not going to look right or it's not going to last. Especially in those summer months when we have a lot of moisture in our hair and our hair tends to frizz and we need to get it up off our neck. If you have any kind of event that you want to go to and you want to look all ritzy and glammed, that's a really simple way if she, you know. I was going to say that's to perfect for bridal, red carpet, holiday, Absolutely. everything. Absolutely. Year round. It's, it, it's, like I said, it's a foundation for hair. Oh, so perfect. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for giving it's us this time. Pleasure. All right. We'll thank you, you so I'll much. You. Bye. <laughs>